Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about a statement in PHP, a really very useful statement in PHP called as the var underscore dump, which is used to output the objects, the PHP objects and the PHP arrays into a human readable format. So the purpose of this statement is to help a developer or a user of the website to output a certain kind of array to debug the program. Let us see how it works. So if this is a PHP file and we're going to add, uh, we're going to uh, understand what var underscore dump is, we will need to create an array for a very simple example. So let us create an array, dollar array, name it as dollar array and use the array keyword or the array function to create an array of one comma two. So there are two elements in this array. First one with the value one and second one is the value two. And we want to see during the execution of the program what this uh, array contains. So for example, during the execution, it is quite possible that this array might have changed and we want to debug and find out what is the new value? All we need to do is do a var underscore dump and inside that write dollar array. Let us check the output of this program. In so the var underscore dump provides a very good uh, set of information about this array. So as we re as we remembered, it were uh, we give two values. First one was the value one and second one was the value two and the index that starts with is zero has the value one and one has the value two. That is what var dump is going to show to us. So at the index zero, we have the integer value one and at the index one of the array, we have the integer value two and we are told that this is an array and it has a size of two. We can add much more complicated stuff to this. So let us say we add one more array inside it. In PHP, it is possible to add array inside an array. And we give it a value of, let's say, A, comma, B. Let's check out what is the output now in the browser. So as you can see, uh, the previous values remain unchanged while there's another index 2 that has been added which is again an array and uh, the zero index has the string now not the integer as a and one has this string b so basically it gives you a fantastic information colored values and uh, even the length of the string so if we change the length of the string Let's see what happens. Let's give it some other value like hello and then world. And let's, oh sorry, uh, let's check out whether we get uh, six and six as the values, right? No, sorry, five and five and five as the values. So the length has been now uh, updated to five. And as you can see, this is a very nice interpretation of this. We can also output a class variable. So let us say class A is, uh, sorry, uh, inside that, uh, let's uh, give a private variable dollar $x equal to 10 and instead of doing the output of the array we will create a new class element new a and let's output this variable and check out what it shows us as, as an output so if we run this program we can say that we can easily see that we uh, I have outputted an object, not an array this time. So maybe I'll just output an array once again. 
to show you the difference. So you can see the difference. First one was the array and second one was the object and it has a private member x which has a value of 10. So Wadam gives you this kind of information very easily and there are more things that you can do with Wadam. You can go to the PHP manual and there are plenty of examples written by the community. You can have a look at these examples and if there are any 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 uh, complications or any uh, gotcha points you can always have a look at that please make sure that in your program if you're using Wadam after you've done the debugging to always comment them like this or to use a global variable which hides the Wadam elements otherwise they will appear in your right in your program so you can use a variable for example a global variable dollar debug equal to true and debug and show these variables only when dollar debug equal to equal to true make sure these there's equal to equal to and copy these two inside the dollar inside the curly braces and now only when the dollar debug is has the value true the var dump would be executed this is to make sure that the Wadam variables are not shown by mistake to the end user of the site. So I hope that makes uh, sense about the Wadam uh, statement of the PHP. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share and, and uh, 